Okay. Why have you been looking at me like that? Oh, come on. It's not bad enough that we get stuck in the same discussion group together, really. Honestly, how did he even wind up in my class? Now I can't even discuss the group work without you giving me some kind of like vibe. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna ask the teacher to give us a new partner. I think it's the best thing to do and I think it's the most professional thing we can do. And I'm not comfortable working on this presentation with you. Which I would not have even said. I was cool with like awkward, quiet silence. Mm -hmm. But you like, you, you clearly aren't even trying on the assignment. You're not even trying. And who knows, who knows what you're sitting there thinking. I don't know. Oh yeah, sure. You're thinking about the assignment. Okay. Okay. If you're thinking about the assignment, then you take the next one. Hmm? Okay. Let's see. Number seven. In the giver, each family has two parents, a son and a daughter. The relationships are not biological, but are developed through observation and a careful handling of personality. In our own society, the makeup of family is under discussion. How are families defined? Are families the foundations of a society or are they continually open for new definitions? If you're so into the assignment, if you're so okay working on this with me, you take it, you answer it. So what do you think? Are families the foundation of society? It's not an attitude. Sorry. Just go ahead. What do you think? Mm. No, I... Okay, finish. I'm going to finish. I'm sorry, I can't pretend like I agree with something I don't agree with. Because I think you're completely wrong. I don't see how families are the foundation to society when families are a product of society. You know, it has it backwards. They're not... No, I don't think that the society is run by families. I don't think it makes it up at all. It's not a building brick. Like... No, I am explaining it to you. Okay, I don't think it's a building brick, right? It's, it's It could be a brick in the sense of if society is like a brick manufacturer and they're turning out these like nuclear style families, right? Well, I don't see how it could be the basis of society anyways. Especially in more recent years. You know, people are defined less and less by who they have at home. And I think people are, are forging a path more on their own. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to say anything. There's a lot that I could say. There's a lot there. Mm -hmm. But. You know, I knew it was going to be tough. <laughs> I knew it was going to be tough. Come on, like we haven't run into each other on campus. Yes, we have. And it's not that big of a school. I just didn't think I would wind up in the same class as you. Especially an elective, really. Listen, I think that we should ask the teacher for any partners. I just don't see how this is gonna work. We clearly fundamentally don't agree. Come on, we've never agreed. Why do you think we're not together? Well, no, because I'm not saying that I'll agree with other people in the class. I'm saying they're not going to sit here and fight me on the discussion questions. 
this isn't a fight. Okay, we're not even friends. I don't even know you anymore. How can I possibly be fighting with you? You know what I mean. Really, you think that we can effectively work together on these discussion questions? I don't... Listen. How are we going to write a paper on this? How are we going to present? If we can't even... Fine. We'll try one more. Well, we have to be able to find some kind of middle ground so we can present the same argument. The point isn't that, it, that working with anyone in this class, I'm going to agree with them. The point is that I'll be able to find a middle ground that we can both defend the same point of view. Let's see. We are not doing that one. Why is the relationship between Jonas and the giver dangerous? And what does the danger suggest about the nature of love? I am not discussing the nature of love with you. No. What did you answer for number five? Okay, why do you think the title of the book is the giver and not the receiver? So, why do you think? Which title would you pick, giver or receiver? This should be really easy. It's one or the other. Mm, and we don't even agree on that. Yeah, I know the story comes to focus on him. But he doesn't stay the receiver. That's the whole point. He might have been receiving at the beginning, but who's to say the giver? I mean, he was receiving as well. The giver was receiving in the beginning of his own storyline. Yes. Yes. And then he becomes, Jonas becomes the giver at the end. In a different way. Yes. But I don't think it's an issue of like greater significance, right? Because then if you wanted to say, well, it's named after the giver, like the man on the cover of the book, because he has like a greater role or is of a, is a more significance to the story. First of all, we'd have to like debate that at all. And second of all, like, why is it even called giver then? Because if it could be describing the man or it could be describing Jonas, like why isn't the book called Jonas? Because the point isn't, like, the individual. It's not, like, the individual name. It could be called Bob, Tony, Sam, whatever, right? It's just that the point is, is the, it's the concept of giving and being a giver. Because also, like, in the book, anybody could be a giver, right? Not everyone could be a receiver. That's the whole point. They had potential. They had potential to stop perpetuating and participating in what they were and instead to give something else, to give their life to a different kind of cause, to like check back into something else, like, why, why are you in this class? You don't even like reading. Did you even read it? Oh my God. Oh my God, you didn't read the book. You didn't read the book. No, I'm not working with you on this. Why? So you can sit around and I can do all of the work? I don't think so. What'd you do? Read up online about it? God, I hate that they came out with a movie for it, but Caleb, I thought that's what you did too. Did you have a date? Huh? Invite someone over? Did you and her just watch The Giver? Mm-hmm. Netflix and chill. Really classy, you know? I'm not accusing you of anything. I can suspect you of something without a... Because I know who you are. I know your type. I know why we're not together. And I know why we are not working together on this assignment. No. No, I'm sorry. And I'm actually not even sorry. I'm asking the teacher for a different partner. Good luck.